What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our Sunday exercise video. Today we're going to focus on legs. We've done videos in the past where we focused on our arms, we focused on our chest, and we focused on our core. We've done just a little bit of legs, including that one uh, seven minute video that we did, which was kind of the, um, the, the body weight workout that had a lot of squats in it. That sucks. That's a tough workout. Um, and we did a little bit of that kettlebell workout with the squats. That's also kind of an ass kicker. But today what I wanted to do is give you a leg video. We can do with four exercises, just body weight. And the goal is to have you focused on how can we do workouts when we're not at the gym, we don't have equipment around. So we're going to give you four simple exercises to do today. Well, maybe not so simple. They're going to be a little bit challenging. But if you do these, it's going to be great for your lower body. You know, as you start to think about how do you build that foundation of everything else you do, it all starts with legs. And I'm going to be honest, I don't do a ton because I do a ton of it, uh, legs through cardio, uh, running, walking, and a ton of Peloton rides. So not a real challenge for me. But as I find as I'm trying to go in and rebuild a lot of my strength, a lot of it does come from your lower body, and we want to get back into that. So we're going to give you some exercises today that you can do uh, that will keep it super simple for you and get those legs really strong for you again as you continue to, to in your workout journey. Now, I do have an ask before we dive into the four exercises, and you know what that ask is. That ask is that you hit that like button and that subscribe button. Guys and girls, if you haven't done it so far, please do it. I don't know if you realize what it means for the channel, but every time you subscribe, obviously we're getting to a bigger audience, and every time you hit that thumbs up, uh, it changes whatever it is in the YouTube algorithm that gives us more views. So what we wanna do is help as many people as possible. So I would ask if you like the videos, if they're helpful, please hit that uh, subscribe button. You know, we got new videos coming all the time for you. And hit that thumbs up for that like button. We're gonna come back in just one second and get that first exercise. The first exercise we're gonna do today, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be basically seven to eight reps with each leg, and we're gonna be doing each leg separately. It's called the Romanian single leg deadlift. And it sounds way more complicated than it is, here is the challenge with this exercise for me, and you'll probably run into this too, so I'll be completely honest with you. This exercise does a couple of things. One is obviously it's gonna work out your legs, but it also challenges your balance. I don't have the greatest balance in the world, so I'm gonna do my best to make this look good and not fall flat on my face as I do this for you. But I would tell you as you do more of it, you'll find that you get more comfortable. So it's really simple, leg, shoulder width apart. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bend down with one arm here, you're gonna come down to this foot, and as you do that, this leg is gonna come up as high as you can. And you can see, again, I tilt backwards just a little bit. But you'll see, I'm gonna do two or three of these for you, and as I do more, you'll find that stability in your hips, and you'll find that stability in your balance, so you'll get better at it. So the first couple sometimes for me are a little bit dicey, but then as I do more, they tend to get better. So that's my second one again. You wanna to try to get, we have just that little fall off to the side. The third one is better, no fall off there. Again, you find the balance. Again, you'll find yourself a little wobbly, but the goal here really is how do we get that stability as we go along. And then we'll do the second one from the side here. And again, it's always gonna be that opposite leg. Now, you know, this leg most likely won't come up as high as my other one does, but it's still, again, it's important to get that in there. So the goal again is to bend over here. Again, that little fall off, we'll do the second one. Better, we feel better. And then that third one, again, we get higher lift on the leg. We go to the fourth one, and again, the leg goes up. So you can see each single time that we do that, it improves, we get better balance, and we're getting better flexibility as that leg goes up. And this is great, it's gonna, again, mainly what we're focusing on today is gonna be glutes, hamstrings, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get a little bit of the front of the thigh, so, but again, the main focus on this is gonna be glutes and hamstrings. And again, two huge muscle groups that'll build a lot of strength for you as you go through your exercise. Next exercise we're gonna do, and I'm probably gonna move the camera here in just a second, is an exercise called beat your boots. Um, for what I was reading about this exercise as I was learning about this, uh, again, same muscle groups are gonna work, but this was actually an exercise they used in parachute training in the Army. Uh, I was in the Army, I was an airborne, I was an 82nd Airborne, uh, I did jump. Uh, it's an exercise that I never did, but it actually is a pretty cool exercise for legs and it does challenge you a little differently. Again, the exercises we're doing today not only work your legs, but they're also good for core and for balance. So this is another one of those. And with the beat your boot exercise, you're gonna keep your feet fairly close together. You're gonna kind of reach down and bend down and touch your ankles. And the goal here is to keep your legs as straight as possible. And what you wanna do is keep your legs wide and you wanna to try to get your, your butt all the way down to touch your ankles, right? So all the way down to the bottom. And this is an exercise, uh, not gonna lie to you, it's not a ton of fun and you're gonna do a lot of these. The goal on this one for each set is to do about 20 per set. 
So I'm gonna lower the camera angle and give you another view from the side and show you what we want to do. And we'll do five or six. It's kind of a weird camera angle. We'll show you what we mean here. Again, we talked about we're gonna bend down here, grab our ankles again, keep our legs as straight as we can, and the goal is to come down here and go as low as possible to touch our butt all the way down to our ankles, and then we're gonna come back up. And again, we want to do anywhere from 15 to 20 of these per set. Again, this is a great kind of deep squat. We got our ankles here, we're holding down. So again, we're, we're using the whole body here. So again, a nice challenge. This one also uh, you know, gets a little bit in the calves too, which is nice. This is a great full lower leg workout for you. So this exercise actually, this one isn't too bad, but again, it's a, it's a good workout, it's simple, but if you do it right, it'll feel amazing for you. And what we're gonna do here is an exercise called good morning. And you're gonna literally just put your hands behind your head. Now you're gonna get into basically your deadlift position, right? So legs bend just slightly, hips move just forward a little bit. And you can see right here, it's as crazy as it is, from here to here, just that little bend in your hips makes a ton of difference. And all we wanna do right there is we just wanna bend forward. What'll happen here is we wanna go as low as we can, and we'll get that tension in the back of our legs. We'll feel that right there in those hamstrings. And it'll feel really good. Now, the key, again, on an exercise like this, is to reset for each set. So again, if you feel like your hips are getting out of place, so again, we're gonna start here, again, that little bit of a dip. We wanna keep our back straight, but you'll see again, right before I get onto the exercise, I just shift my, my, my pelvis forward. And it's a slight movement, it's from here to here, but by doing that and coming down as low as we can, we're engaging the back of our legs the whole time to challenge us in that exercise. So. Again, a little bit different. That, that exercise should be, let's call it 10 to 15 reps per set. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And we want to do three sets there. We're going to go into our last exercise, which in my opinion is the worst one. It's not a ton of fun. Uh, this is a great exercise if you're doing specifically body weight, lower leg, you know, workouts. This one will help you a ton. All right. Last exercise. We're almost done. Again, you're going to do three sets of each of these. Again, that will vary by set. You know, that first deadlift we talked about, it's seven to eight reps per leg. We talked about the second one we want to do, uh, you know, 15 to 20 per set. And then our good mornings we just talked about, we're going to do 10 to 15. This one's, we should shoot for 10 to 12. And this is going to be that sumo uh, squat, no weight. Now, the key to this, again, with both squats, we're going to be usually shoulder width apart. We actually want to go almost as wide as we possibly can. And again, I'll show you from a different angle in just a second. But as we get as wide as we can, the goal here, we want to go deep, right? So we're going to keep our hands out in front of us. We want to get really, really deep in this exercise, again, to challenge our legs. It's a big difference when you go to that really wide stance. If we're here, we're still working that, that whole workout here. But if we get over here, we actually start to challenge and work out the outer part of our thighs. And you see even more, uh, more challenging. And again, it's going to put a little more emphasis on what we're doing with our knees and it just feels completely different. You'll also get a much deeper pull through, through your hamstrings, your glutes, you feel it through the whole piece. So I'm gonna bring the camera down. All right, so we've got the camera here. So again, this is what we're looking like when we're shoulder width apart. We're gonna go into that really wide sumo stance, so completely different, as wide as we possibly can. Again, we're gonna come here and go as deep as we can right here, come back up. This should be, like I said, anywhere between eight and 12 reps per set and we're gonna do three sets. Again, great workout. Reset yourself as you go through. If you find that your feet start to shift, so in a second ago, my right foot was kind of turning out a little bit. I wanna make sure I bring them back in. So again, they're, they're parallel together. We wanna to make sure we're, we're facing forward, and we wanna go as deep as we can with each set. So as you can see, we did our really, really simple leg workout today. Um, you know, our goal on the channel is to make people stronger, healthier, feel better, give you some great simple stuff you can do. Like I said, you don't want to go to the gym because of COVID. Maybe you don't have any weights at home. There's nothing stopping you from doing some great body, work, uh, body weight exercises. And again, we just did lower body, which in my opinion is actually one of the more challenging exercises to do without any weights. Uh, we saw four great exercises. You'll feel good if you do it. My, my, my recommendation is again, incorporate this. I'll throw this up in the link here. I'll put the arms workout and I'll put the chest workout in here. Uh, if you could incorporate all these three together and you do them all, you know, once a week, again, you, it'll help you a ton. You'll start to find some of the different ways to build some of this in. And we'll add some more body weight workouts in for chest and arms in the near future. So again, some just some really cool things you can do. 
Uh, you know, thank you as always for checking out the channel. We appreciate everybody. Look for new videos coming all the time. Should have a new cooking video this week, new delicious or suspicious. Uh, and then we'll have our, our update next Saturday with, uh, you know, our fitness vlog. So thanks for everybody for checking out. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you soon. And happy Valentine's Day, everyone.